Bonneville. Where are we? We're on Wide Beam, Ciao Bella. Before we start, apologies for the echo uh, and apologies for not getting mic'd up, but basically we can't find them because we're <laughs> still in the process of sorting a few things out. So yes, welcome to um, Wide Beam, Ciao Bella. Now, before we just get into this kind of an update, we're on board vlog, um, loads of questions. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for the lovely comments oh, lovely on comments. last week's vlog. Yeah. Um, really, really were lovely. But we've had quite a few comments in terms of, oh my God, I thought you'd lost Ciao Bella. What happened? So Look, did we. Yeah, in a nutshell, yeah, we did. In a nutshell, our first purchase was a total time waster. Wanted to say something else, but I won't. Um, second purchases came along, made it quite clear that they wanted to move quickly. Obviously the boat had been surveyed, it had the hull done, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we had basically 10 days um, between them viewing and us getting off the boat. It was manic. <laughs> um, and yeah, obviously Chow Bella was still um, available on the market. So here we are on Chow Bella. It was meant to be. All the stars were aligned and it's just meant to be. Can I just say as well, just before we continue, I've had some comments as well about uh, me not being here when Mr B moved on. I had a mole removed uh, from underneath my arm and it all went well and it's benign and everything but unfortunately it got infected so I've been um, I I've been having to go to the doctors and stuff with it so it's all fine but I couldn't lift anything and, and do stuff like that but I'm, I'm okay. Yeah good timing. Love her as I do she would have gotten me way and she would have frustrated me because of her wound so I would have done, she yeah. went off to see her sister and brother-in-law for a couple of days. And I had a lovely old time. <laughs> A lovely, a lovely relaxing time <laughs> so, moving on um we just wanted to just update you we're on board we're just going to show you a few bits and pieces now i'm going to pick the camera up mrs bonneville could just show you what we've been up to but in essence all we've really done is move on board um, and get a few things sorted out we've got a table and chairs which have arrived fabulous we where we're sitting right now won't always be like this there will be a big corner sofa so um, there's lots and lots of stuff. For example, behind you, there's no windows. Uh, sorry, no windows. Yeah, there, <laughs> there's there no <laughs> curtains. There's no <laughs> curtains on the windows. We've taken the curtains down. We're having those relined, and same with these. Um, so. So what what we've done? There's a there's a lovely lady that's yeah. in the village uh, called Lizzie Stitch, and she's got some fabulous fabulous comments uh, from a lot of people that are on the marina. She's at alterations and all sorts of stuff. And because Chow Bell has been in the water for a while, you'll notice, as we're going around, you'll see this, but the, the curtains were positioned so they were pushed right against the window, weren't they? Yeah, so under these bars. This under bar. the bars. And so, so when there was condensation on the window, the curtain was right up against it, so it's caused like watermarks and mildew on the back. The front of the curtains are beautiful, but it just needed lining on the back. So I got in touch with Lizzie, and rather than having taken all the curtains to her, we've done that one first because there's nobody in the little narrow boat next door to us but there is in our lovely neighbors next little door narrow boat yeah little narrow boat there and um so so once they're done we can put them on there and then take yeah. those down to lizzie and she'll do those so it's going to be nice and fully lined again aren't they and also um we're not going to take the camera outside because at the time of filming this it's blowing a hoolie um we've booked in Chow Bella for blacking because it needs blacking. Uh, I will show you Chow Bella is not perfect. Inside it's perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mint. Outside the roof, basically, long story short, there's been a self-seeking satellite dish box on the front end of the boat. Um, it's been taken off and the paint's come. So the top of the boat, the roof, is not in a good condition. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just aesthetic. So I am toying around with um, doing that myself because I like a bit of DIY, but it's also booked in as well. So, but I've got, they won't do that. And I wouldn't even contemplate them doing the roof until at least next April, May, minimum, obviously because of the weather. Um, so I will show you that. The boat's not perfect. It is inside, 100% perfect inside. It's lovely. But outside the roofs, yeah, it needs a little bit of love. Blacking is blacking. You're always going to need to get your boat blacked and ours needs blacking or two pack. 
So we won't show you outside, so don't if be We just wanted you to, yeah. to update you on what we've done. Right, so let's get the camera. Should we put the cushions back on the chair? No, we'll leave them as they are. In front of you, that's my puffer jacket with some laundry. Right, we're going down to the back of the boat. Now, obviously the breakfast bar, um, it is the season to be merry, so we're just starting to get some of the Christmas decorations out. Mrs. Bonneville, over to you. A Maltese, isn't it? Um, so, Your fingers uh, off that glass. Quite a bit, and the <laughs> cooker. Uh, it's got a deodoriser. How cool is that? Because we had some steamed vegetables the other day, didn't we? And it smells a bit like cabbage and stuff in there. So you, you press the deodoriser and after five minutes, it deodorises. Um, we've put this curtain up and it keeps, um, well, it keeps all of the draft um, from the vents and obviously the doors. Just open up the doors, Mrs B. Let's have a look at the um, the back deck. Hasn't my wife got a lovely bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. Again, folks, we're just showing this as it is. Um, so the back deck, all we've done on the back deck for now is we've put some lights, we've put a little heart um, on the back deck. Oh, I bought my fishing rod fishing rods. over yesterday. That's going to be put onto the well, well deck. Yeah. We've, got a we've got a ratio. We have to bring a ratio. Yeah. That's about it, really, for mm. the uh, the back deck, folks. Right, come on, Mrs B, let's get back down there. <laughs> if you stand at this side, Mr B. Let me come round yeah. then, Mrs B. <laughs> There's our windows, look with no curtains, by the way. Just on one side. Just on one side. Look at this, you've got to come behind me. <laughs> I loved it. Ta -da! <laughs> the larder, the pantry, whatever you want to call it. And look, we've got a little row little of slow gin. Yeah. No, she can't. <laughs> can see those brands, others are available. And that bottom left drawer is the Christmas cupboard. Oh, the Christmas over there. Drawer. Bottom left drawer is what? The bottom left uh, drawer is Christmas the Christmas floor. drawer. And Mr B's not allowed in there not for at least there. two or three weeks till okay. it starts getting into right. December. Right. Because there's things in there that he'll want to eat and he's hard. Uh, table and chairs. We could have, <laughs> the boat's that big, we could have definitely gone um, for kind of a six seater, but not being funny what's the point um but it's lovely i'm not knocking it please we loved we absolutely love being on our narrow boat but it is lovely knowing that we can sit properly sit down at a proper table with a proper chair what i want to do is um invite the, um, the boys from uh gold wide being goldfinch to, to one of my sunday lunches with yorkshire puddings and everything and it'd be nice to sit on here and do that won't it it will you know the shelf somebody one of our our friends said God, how many how many shelves do you need um and what we are going to do with this because there's there are a lot of shelves as you can see eventually we're going to have street a the the guys on the marina who was street a mrs b street a are our Carpenters. There are boat, boat engineers. There are boat engineering companies. They do fabulous. fit outs. They're brilliant, uh, and we're going to get them to put some cupboard doors on, aren't we? So we're not yeah. going to lose them, but just put cupboard fronts on, aren't we? Yeah. Can I just stress? Um, not all of these shelves are going to have doors on. So, for example, this unit here may have doors, open shelves, doors. They're not all going to oh, have actually, doors on. Oh no, I like that. No, we didn't, we haven't that. discussed that. We, we haven't discussed Ooh. that. You see, yeah, I think I've said many times before. When Mr. B says he's thinking about something, it's, it's usually done. done. So it's, that's probably done. Isn't it? <laughs> it's probably spoke to Street A. Really, <laughs> right. they're, they're, they're Moving on. So you've got all the uh, shelves. shelves and things there. Um, Fire. Um, it's a diesel, more so squirrel diesel conversion. Absolutely love that. The reason I love it, if you have watched any of our vlogs, I absolutely hated our diesel stove on our narrowboat because of the look of it. I think that looks fantastic because it looks traditional. And that's your opinion? That's, that's my it? opinion. That's I'm not opinion. asking you to agree with it. I'm just, that's my opinion. Can I just show you this as well? Uh, my lovely brother-in-law 
if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you'll see that usually on a Thursday, I go walking with my sister. I go and see my mom and, and the kids and everything. And that's my sister. My brother-in-law's painted my sister, myself, Shelby, Bonnie and Tetley Bum uh, with a photograph of the Red Mines Reservoir at the back. And he's called it the Reservoir Dogs. And he, he gave both me and my sister one of those. Was it last New Year? No, the year, New Year before. He's a very good painter, so I, I love that painting. For those that are considering getting a, a whatever that model is, it's it's the, the it's the, the top of the range. I hate that phrase, but the Dyson. Um, yeah, but they are absolutely fantastic. Aren't they? TV, lovely big TV, absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, fabulous picture on that. Not quite short sure size it is, but it is enormous. Um, lovely, lovely picture there. Our honeymoon when we went to Vegas. The families. Can I just say as well, somebody asked about this we saw it in the bedroom we had this in the bedroom in uh, on love life triumph and when uh, what mr b did when we lived in broadway um we in the cotswolds in the cotswolds we used to do there were some lovely walks and we used to enjoy a walk that took us from broadway to chipping camden which was about five or six miles was it something like that and unbeknown to me mr b had bought these these letters and he'd made a treasure trail so uh, along the walk there were certain little landmarks like there was a there was a tree that looked like a stork and our favorite church that they used to sit and have a picnic in and the graveyard and stuff and so he left these letters all along all the way to chim camden and then that evening we went for a meal and he said right now put all the letters together and what does it what does it mean oh i was ages and ages like is it this is it this is it this and it actually means because my surname used to be betts so it's Bets, will you please be my wife? And it was his way of proposing. And he says I'm not romantic. So romantic. And I've not gone too far in that wall, folks, because there's some personal photos of the family. So obviously in this case. Yeah, so on it's, it. it's our picture yeah. wall. So um, here is obviously the captain's chairs. That's where our long, large uh, L-shaped sofa is going to be. Um, corner sofa, sorry. And then over here, we've still got space um, for the other two captain's chairs. Over to yeah, Mrs. Okay. Bonneville. Um, uh, we had help from uh, from Paul on Goldfinch to set the sound bar up on the TV as well because we couldn't quite work out how that was set up. And we've got the uh, Darren's nice desk here, all set ready for. Need a chair, out. but isn't it nice to sat up to an actual desk? It is. It is. I got my set here, so I'm getting all Christmas ready. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and then come in, if you come into the bathroom. So I'm just going to show you <laughs> Ta -da! our Cinderella toilet. Now, we were very fortunate that when we came, there were lots of boxes of these. Because this is what you put in. I'm going to show you how we use it. We're not going to absolutely I'm not, not show you demonstrate anything. it, are we? No, not, not really. Um, <laughs> We'd be so banned off YouTube, Mrs. B. <laughs> and nobody wants to see that. So they like filter bags, love. So I'm going to put a filter bag in. Pop that in there. There we go. go. And then, let me just show you. I'm just going to put some water in. I'm going to show it up through it all the way along with some water. Close the lid. So let's imagine you've had a wee. Yes. Yeah. And then. <laughs> That's the Cinderella, folks. Yeah, um, I think we're ready to, to replace, to, to change the ash. I think that's what, uh, what we're needing to do. So this is the, uh, the bathroom, manage the bath, the shower room. Yeah, um, shower, you can get a rugby team in there. The Cinderella, folks, um, yeah, I will reserve judgment. Give me, ask me in another six months. Um, I know Mrs. Bonner will absolutely love it. Right. Um, oh. Laundry, you don't need to see our dirty laundry. Laundry shoot. Yeah. Obviously, washer, washer dryer. dryer. Yeah. Although I am still using the facilities here because I just yeah. think, well, why not? Our um, cuckoo clock, which comes everywhere with us. Yeah. <laughs> and the bedroom. And the bedroom. Yay. And we started utilising some of the uh, some of the cupboards. Well, I've got some of my shoes in there. We've got that many cupboards, that much cupboard space. Uh, yeah, it's, it just uh, goes on forever. There's an awful lot of it's space. Just loads and loads of space. Awful and lot of space. My lovely chair, and I've got my air dryer and straighteners there ready. My makeup drawer, my jewellery drawer, and if I wanted to, 
I mean, I'm, obviously I've hung juice and vanity, but we can open that out to the, uh, to the outside. <laughs> but I love that. It's great. And it's a nice big seat and it's really comfortable. So, folks, the door um, into the well deck. All we've done in the well deck, in fact, all we've done on the boat is unpack and clean. So there's the well deck. Um, lovely space. Nice little uh, table for your gin and tonics. And as I say, all we've done um, is just basically clean the boat from top to bottom. Right. Can I just, somebody asked as well, could they see the belt and the boots? You know, we went to Strasbourg the other day. Can I just very quickly, because somebody actually put it on the comments. This is the belt that I had um, engraved. And I'm just going to show you. I don't really can see there. That's the my initials. And I've put the little bit that uh, Mr. B practised on, I've put that on my belt as well. Um, so that's the belt that I, I got. And also, just very quickly. I think I may have got a shot of your slippers as well, my love. Oh, I don't mind that. And the cowboy boots. And my boots. And there's my initials on there, look. Oops, hold on. Focus. Oh, there you go. Cowboy boots. My cowboy boots. I haven't worn these for a, for a bit because I, I, I don't know where them in bad weather. <laughs> and I know I can. But, uh, but yeah, so... That's what they are. It's great actually putting things up in wardrobes, isn't it? In the wardrobe space. Right, let's go sit down. And the tie oh. rack, tie backs. Tie backs. Can I just show? Magnetic. Ta da! Look at that. You got those the other day, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't just didn't really want to cool? drill. I didn't want to drill. I hate drilling into, you know, certain things, and the boat is one of them. And they're on the, these as and well. They're all, the tie backs are on all of the other curtains that are still up waiting to go to get backed. Can I just show these little footstools as well? We got these from a lovely shop in, uh, in in Matlock. You know, if you've seen any of our walks and we walk from Matlock Bath into Matlock, Matlock's more like antique shops and things like that. And we found a lovely little shop and he makes them. And I just think they're really sweet, aren't they? They are. Right, grab a seat, Mrs. B. Right, sorry about the shaky footage, folks. Just let me get um, get this right. Well, just to give you a quick update, we've not fallen off the side of the earth. We haven't stopped, have we? No, and it's been about the boat. So yeah. apart from me going to visit my family in Sheffield, um, we haven't done any walks or anything like no. that. So we've just literally, been, Dara's been working and we've just been doing things on the boat. So it's not been a week where we've gone off and done sort of stuff. So, no. so this is why we just wanted to show you what we've done so yeah. far. Normal service will probably resume next week. Um, one thing we can say though, or show is we absolutely love it. It is beautiful. Um, we really, really do love the boat, um, but you know, as I say, we have we haven't stopped for last week ten days. We're just unpacking things and cleaning yeah. and all sorts of stuff. So we just wanted to say hello, give you a very quick show. Can I just can I just say I got you know because the floors wooden and we've got the lovely tiling in the bathroom. I got some of these slipper things. They're right cool, um, and and they're like dusters that you do, you just put them on like slippers, but they're dusters. You've probably seen them. And um, the other day, Mr. B was working in Leeds all day. So I got ABBA on, the new ABBA album, which is fabulous. And I was doing my cleaning and I was swishing on the floor. And it's great because you can polish the floor and have a dance. Win win. Bye. See you next week. This is See you next going, week. Going off on one. Bye. <laughs> It always reminds me of a rap, two pack. <laughs> let's keep on let's keep on subject, Mrs. Bonneville, shall we? Right. I time that very well, I feel. Mm. Right, so yeah. it's like once it started, if you're going, I don't know, about 50 minutes later, it's really warm. So it's right nice to sit on it. <laughs> Hot.